Hey everybody, Spencer Jones here with Jones and to Get Fit, bringing you our live cooking show for tonight. That's right, this episode is going to be special. We are going back to basics. We are going back to one of the staples that many of us grew up with and already know how to cook, but we're going to change it. We are going to take it from here and elevate it up there. That's right, we are going to make elevated scrambled eggs. It is going to be super easy. We have some basic ingredients here, and I'm going to show you how to make scrambled eggs from a, a world-renowned chef. Um, one person that I have loved watching on television, I have a number of his cooking books, and I even took a cooking class, online cooking class, from him, uh, and that is Chef Gordon Ramsay. So if you love watching Gordon Ramsay, here is one of his recipes for elevated eggs. Now, we're adapting it a little bit, right? We're going to make it a little bit healthier, and I'm changing up a little bit of the ingredients, but the idea is the same. Now, if you have issues when you're making eggs on a nonstick pan, and you still get them on the pan, stuck to the bottom, or they just, you know, they get, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They get um, crusty a little bit, yeah, and just, you know, a little, not really great scrambled eggs. This recipe will solve that for you, and we're going to do it really quickly with the ingredients behind me. I'll show you there in just a second. But before we get going, um, if you could do me a couple favors, two favors really. First favor is please like this video and share it out among your friends uh, and your family. The more people that share it, the more people we can share this recipe with and more people we can help, uh, help get healthy. So if you could do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. Just click share and the like button down there or you know, make weird crazy reactions like, whoa, <gasps> crazy, all that good stuff. If you could do that, that would be awesome. Um, also then, if you could subscribe to our YouTube page, that would be epic. It is really easy to find. It's bit, B-I-T dot L-Y slash two Jones in YouTube. And I'll put that link in the comments after this. I forgot to, but we'll make sure we get that there. So you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube page. We have lots of these cool cooking videos coming out, coming out on there. Um, you are getting workout videos plus anything that I do, Jones and Four, Sailfish, Jones and Four, uh, Expos, and all those things are funneled right there, so you can catch all of those. All right, um, one, uh, two more things really quickly. No more favors for you, but I'd love to give a shout out to my friend Kylia. I believe she's watching now, actually. Uh, Kylia owns uh, Pleasant Hen Acres, and she provided the eggs for today. We'll talk about that a little bit. They are amazing. Uh, they're in Forest Junction, so I know I have a lot of viewers all over the country and state, but if you're around the Foxes, go check out Pleasant Hen Acres. Amazing eggs, uh, just awesome. And if you're not, go find a place, a local person that that produces the eggs, you know, that has the hens roaming around and, and you can get the eggs. Yes, they cost more, but you will taste the difference and, and it's really, really amazing. So I do that. Um, also, um, if you are in the Wisconsin, North Illinois area, you should come down to Super Saturday on April 8th in Milwaukee. The Milwaukee Super Saturday, right? I, I know I'm up here, Nina. It's about an hour and a half, hour, 40 minute drive for me to get down there. But why should you come? Because I'm going to be one of the speakers there. They, um, I'm definitely one of them. They're working on finding another one. And we're going to be talking about how to discover your why. I'm going to bring my kayak along and talk about kayak fishing and how that helps with your why and relate it all. So if that you're looking for something to do, come check it out. It's really, really inexpensive. Actually, if you're not a Beachbody coach, it's free. So you can't beat free. Come on down to, uh, Apple to, or to, to Milwaukee's Super Saturday, April 8th. Hear me speak, hear hopefully another person speak, meet a whole bunch of awesome people, and you even get a workout in as a group. Awesome motivation right there. Okay, enough. Let's get to these scrambled eggs. Let me show you what we need here to make them. We'll bring you on over. We have a toaster here. Toaster is not needed for the scrambled eggs. It's just an additional wonderful thing. Um, I am having, my wife's having um, Italian white bread, uh, homemade, and then I am having, look at that bread right there, woo! Look at that, you can see it's like a honey sunflower whole wheat. That should be some good bread. Mm -mm. Okay, that's besides the point. You need a stove, a pan, a non-stick pan, preferably really because you're going to want those for those eggs. And then you're going to want olive oil. Not extra virgin olive oil, just regular stuff. All right, um, you are, now I know this is kind of ghetto looking, but right, rosemary. You get the rosemary. Um, this was my mother-in-law. Uh, grew this last summer and dried it out. You're gonna need, now I'm making this for Katie and I, so there's two portions here, so four eggs. If it's just you, just two eggs. That's all. Okay, 
Greek yogurt. You're going to want Greek yogurt. I have honey vanilla. If you just have non, you know, plain, it's kind of a weird angle. Um, if you just have regular Greek yogurt, that's cool too. And I have uh, a little pepper, a little salt seasoning, and just a little bit of mozzarella cheese just for some fun of it, right? Like, I don't know, um, two tablespoons worth of mozzarella cheese. Something like that. What? Crazy. So that's all you need. All right. Here's how the sucker's gonna angles on here. What crazy changing angles? What? Okay, cool. Get you over here. So you are going to need nonstick pan. I'm putting it on the back burner here because I have a smaller burner. And then um, you will want a rubber spatula. If you're using a nonstick pan, I'm sorry, I gotta move the camera. It's really gonna bug me otherwise. There, kind of. I don't know if that did anything. Yeah, whatever. All right, you're gonna want a rubber spatula if you're using a nonstick pan. If you're using a metal one, it's gonna scratch your nonstick surface and cause all these issues. And really, do you really want to deal with that? No, no, you don't. I'm fixing it. It's bothering me. There. I'm sorry. Okay. So here's what you're going to do first: scrambled eggs. Got it? Elevated scrambled eggs. Piece of cake. Here's what you're gonna do first: you put your oil in the pan like this. Notice my burner's not on yet. It's not going. I am putting mm, right about there, do a little more. That's about just over a tablespoon of, of oil in the pan. Let's see, I know I couldn't see your comments last time. Maybe I could see them today, video only, so I'm, uh, I don't know. So if someone comments, awesome, I'd appreciate it just so I could see, whoa, I don't want to write a comment, crazy. I just can't see if I were commenting. I'm sorry if I don't see them, I love responding to them. I just don't see. I'm just swirling in the pan, getting it all in. Okay, notice. Oven still, or stove still not on. Here's what I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take our lovely eggs from Pleasant Hen Acres. Check those out, right? Uh, it looks white because like we have two brown ones. This one, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a greenish color. And it's kind of hard, it looks white. And the other one's white, just all white. All right, we're gonna break them into the pan right away, and not even on the heat. So we're just gonna break them in like this. So it's one, two, three. We got a little bit of shell in that one. There you go. Oh. Off my finger, please. Off my finger, please. It's not loosening. There we go. And then four. There we go. All right, so we have four eggs in our pan. So I'm going to wash off my hands really quick. Now we're going to put it over medium heat, oh, which was medium. All right, medium heat, and then we're gonna start breaking it up with our spatula. All we're doing is I'm just breaking the yolks right here. I know it's really hard to see. Let's see if I shut that off. Can you see a little better? Aaron, I can see a little bit more into it. I'll bring you over, and I'm just kind of breaking it up and kind of stirring it, lifting more, not stirring so much as is lifting and turning over, almost like you're whisking it. But notice I'm not really going that fast because. It's still relatively liquid at the moment, and that's okay. So let me show you here what it looks like. Get you a little closer. I imagine you can use your imagination pretty well. I'll try to hold this in my left hand, so you can see. So you see it's still parted, right? It's not mixed. It's not scrambled. But don't worry. It's going to be. So all you're doing is just kind of mixing it and stirring. And we're going to keep that going here. Let me put that back. So we're medium heat. You're not seasoning it, you're not doing anything. You're letting it sit here. Now here is the trick. Here is the key to making really delicious, soft eggs. Well, there's a couple ingredients, or a couple key things. Here's one of them. That is, you put it on here for 90 seconds on medium heat, and you take it off for 20. And you're almost constantly mixing it up. Now, you've seen me stop mixing a little bit because I'm talking to the camera and it's almost all the way blended through as if I whisked it beforehand. Whisked it. I can talk, really. I can. So we got the sucker going. Yeah, I'm curious. I can't see if my comments are working, so if you're watching this live, could you put a comment down there? And I really apologize if I can't see it. Let me see here. Let's see what we got. I know I got some awesome people watching. Randall, thank you for watching. Kylia, thank you for watching. And says five more. I don't know who, but that's awesome. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, folks. We can have some fun here. You know, we can, you know, all things stirring up here. We can, whoa, get some, oh, we can put filters on it. Like, whoa, check out that filter, right? Get a little more color in here. 
Yep. We've got some cats who are curious. All right, starting to cook now and starting to get that film on the bottom. I'm kind of liking these filters. Let's see what we can change it again. Whoa, black and white, getting crazy. Having fun with filters. On Facebook Live, folks. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. We'll go back to no filter. There we go. We'll go back. All right. So now it's been about 90 seconds, so I'm just going to take it off the heat. And I don't have a timer specifically. I'm just kind of rough timing it. I'm still I'm going around the edges, pulling it up. And going underneath and pulling it around. Okay, so it's 90 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Right in there. So, you know, if it's not precise, it's not going to ruin anything. But it's helpful if it's right on. Again, no seasoning. Now, if you wanted to add butter to it, you could instead of the olive oil. Um, for the four eggs, I would add a tablespoon of butter at most. Maybe, uh, probably less than that, even just a little bit a little bit less if you wanted to. So what I'm doing with this with the scraper here is I'm making sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan, to the sides. I'm constantly moving it around, scraping and lifting it up and turning it over. Let me see if I can get you a little bit closer here. All right, we're we're it's cooking now. Here, let me move this off and show you what it looks like a little closer here. You can, like see all over my house today. Hey, look, that's the top of the vent. What crazy! All right, so see if we can get you focusing a little bit more on that. So you can see how it's already starting to mix together. It's not like you know bachelor scrambled eggs where it's all white and yolky. Put it back on the heat. So for another 90 seconds. This is all it is, folks. This is all you're doing, right until the very, very end. I'm gonna put my toast down because I know it takes some time. There's reasons for the other ingredients, but this is the first step. So as this is cooking, I'm going to turn the camera up here. I'd just like to thank all of you again for watching and for sharing this video. If you can, if you haven't yet, uh, I would appreciate it if you could. And, um, you know, go check out Farm Fresh Eggs. They're so much better for you. Uh, not in the sense, or not only in the sense that generally, you know, they might be larger and they're fun colors and your kids can have fun with it all that. But... Um, even more so, they have more, uh, the health benefits are in there, right? The vitamins, nutrients, there's more in there. i got to take it off now. It's been 90 seconds. Um, they have more of that in there, the nutrients and vitamins that are healthy for you. Um, plus, they don't bleach them on the outside and, and cause other issues. They'll last longer, right? So I don't know if you knew this or not. You actually do not need to refrigerate eggs, um, especially farm fresh eggs. They should last, I believe it is, now Kylie, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they should last like four weeks um, without being refrigerated. Farm fresh eggs, that is. The store-bought ones, they'll last, but not, not nearly as long, again, because they bleach the shell, which makes them white, and then that thins it up quite a bit. Um, and then I think they'll last in your refrigerator for six months? I don't know. It's something crazy like that, you know? All right, we're bringing it back down. So looking at my ugly mug here. Let's take it back down. Try to see if you can make a little... Oh, is that too bright? Yeah, you can see it a little better. So I'm turning down the heat a little bit. The medium's just a little bit too warm. All right. So I'm still stirring. You can see I'm folding it over itself right now. It's still pretty liquid. It's starting to get some nice form, though. Scraping as much of that stuff off the bottom so we don't get... That hard, hard portion, that's why I'm turned on the heat as well. Good, okay, I'm gonna take it off. Here is what happens really quickly. So I'll turn the light off so you can see a little better here. All right, I'm going to take my Greek yogurt. I have a teaspoon here, teaspoon into the Greek yogurt. Don't put it over the fire. All right, so again, if you have plain Greek yogurt, that's awesome with the oat or the, sorry, the honey vanilla. It's not, you're not going to taste it too much. You're going to be okay. So I'm taking one teaspoon. That was kind of a big teaspoon. For one, one for another. Mm. Eat the rest of it that's on the spoon. And it's amazing. And you're going to fold it in. All you're going to do is just fold it into the eggs. Here are the pot from the toaster. There we go. Put it back over here. Cook it down. And almost. 
almost here. See, it's super easy. Now, this is taking eggs. We've all made, well, I shouldn't say we all. I would assume almost everybody here has made scrambled eggs before. And I don't know about you, I've made them a couple different ways, and they stick to the bottom of the pan. I got a little bit sticking here, but not much. Um, if I used butter, that probably would be salt. Um, but they stick to the bottom of the pan. It seems like half of it's left in the pan, or they get brown too fast. This is a trick right here, 90 on, 20 off, folks. And just constantly stirring. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, but it pays off so, so, so good for making this basic dish. So again, put in that uh, two teaspoons of Greek yogurt. That's a teaspoon per two eggs, right? So half a teaspoon per egg if, you wanna, if you're doing a single egg or three eggs or something different. Now, if you're following any meal plans, if you're following the um, 21 day fix here, I could probably turn it up here so I'm not bending over as much. If you're following the 21 day fix meal plan and portion containers, two eggs count as, I can go down here, two eggs count as one protein. Now, if you are using, I think it's like six egg whites, if you're just using egg whites, count as a protein. So up to you how you'd like to make that work. For me personally, uh, I like having the whole egg. I don't like leaving the, the yolk out a bit. There's, for me, I, I think there's uh, health benefits in there, um, although I haven't researched it, and I just love the taste of it, that I just have two eggs. I count it as one, um, although you can get a lot more if you have just, uh, you know, just the egg whites. If you're following the uh, like a plan, meal plan, or anything like that, so you're keeping your lifestyle diet together. All right, we're almost done here. Or I'll show you this consistently. Bring it closer to the camera here. Look at that. So it's really soft and, and fluffy looking. You just see that right there. I'm gonna take keep off the heat now. I have about two tablespoons or so of mozzarella cheese. That's all. Just gonna plop that in there. Put it back over the heat, fold it in. That's almost done. And then, just let that cook for just a little bit. And all you need to do to top it off is a little salt and pepper. There we go, folks. Almost. Perfect. Shut the heat off, and you're golden. Whoa, the camera just snapped back. All right, look at that. We have, I'm going to turn it back down so it's a little bit easier for you to see. Here are elevated scrambled eggs. I forgot one ingredient really quickly, and that is our rosemary. That's okay. I would have added it the same time I added the cheese. I forget sometimes, too. I get so excited. With rosemary, you're only going to need a little bit. Whew. Like, that's, that's plenty right there. Just that little bit of rosemary for these two eggs. I'm gonna mix it in really quickly here. I would add it in the same time I add the cheese, so it's not really all that late. If you wanted to, you could add it in earlier. It's not really gonna make too much of a difference. I'm gonna let it sit just for a second or two, or about a minute, I should say, to be honest, um, until Katie gets down here and we can have dinner. And then you finish it off. If you like salt, you do a little bit of salt on it. Yeah, a little rock salt. Boom, done. I don't like that much on mine. And a little bit of black pepper. There you go, folks. Elevated scrambled eggs. What? Yum, yum. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. That is, friends, probably one of the quickest shows we've had. And that is how you make elevated scrambled eggs just like that. Delicious, soft succulent, just amazing scrambled eggs. Brought to you by me, Spencer Jones, and the Jones in a Good Fit live cooking show. I'm so happy you tuned in today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please do me a favor, like this video and share it out, and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. You can just uh, Google or go on YouTube and search Jones and Spencer and Jones and Sailfish, things like that. Those keywords will bring you right to my page and you'll be set to rock and roll. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more things like this, even just like the back to basic stuff, like scrambled eggs or pancakes or whatever, let me know uh, in the comments or hit me up through Messenger and let me know. I'd love to help you out. Check out Spencer M. Jones or jonesandagetfit.com for more details of all the crazy stuff I'm doing. Again, April 8th, 
It's a Saturday, I'm not doing anything. Come down to Milwaukee, check out the Super Saturday event we have going on. It's free if you're not a Beachbody coach. And you can come hear me talk, which would be awesome, about how to discover your why, talk kayak fishing, and how that relates to my why and how it can help you find yours. And also, you get a great workout with some awesome people. It's April 8th in Milwaukee. Check it out. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and thanks for everything. We'll catch you all later.